So my plan for today is actually to go to Himeji. I'm in Kyoto. I've made my way to Kyoto Station and now I'm going to Yodobashi where I'm going to try and um, buy uh, like a little mini tripod for my camera. They had a gorilla pod, but um, to be honest, it didn't really work out very well. So I want something a little bit more portable, something that I can just plonk down somewhere if I want to film um, certain different um, scenes. So I'm gonna give the Manfrotto like, um, tripod a uh, try and I've also bought like a little quick release thing so that I can like connect and disconnect the tripod quickly because I really hate having to screw the, the tripod to the camera over and over again. It just slows things down and you know you might not get the shot and it's just really annoying. So I'm on my way now quickly back to Kyoto Station. Yodobashi camera is literally five minutes away. Um, and the Shinkansen leaving in the next like 10 minutes so if I'm lucky I'll get it, if not I'll just catch the next one. That's a great thing about traveling around Japan, it's really easy to, to like um, miss a train and get, a, get another train. So I actually missed my um, Shinkansen by a few minutes but it doesn't matter because I'm on a local train um, basically I change out Osaka and then I can get another Shinkansen that will make my that will allow me to get to my destination so I mean it's only gonna be like maybe 15 or 20 minutes more than, than the original plan but it doesn't matter because I got my tripod and actually I'm, I'm testing it now and I'm quite happy with it I'm really happy with the, like, the quick release thing that I've done I've just arrived in Himeji and the first thing that I've noticed if you follow the signs to Himeji Castle is that literally the moment that you leave the, the train station you can see the castle in the distance. So I mean I think I'm gonna walk to it. It's very hot. I've got plenty of water. I've been drinking um, since I woke up basically as I think it's like the fifth bottle of water that I've had. We're in the middle of a Japanese heat wave. Um, it is hot. I, they say it's a heat wave but to, but to be honest it just feels and it reminds me of what the heat is usually like in the summer in Japan. So I'm gonna make my way to the castle and check it out, see what it's like. The street that I'm in right now is like an indoor shopping street called Miyuki Dori and um, it's basically on the right hand side of the main road from the train station leading to the castle so it's an excellent um, place to go to on the way to the castle if it's really hot like today and I'm sure if it's raining or if it's really cold <laughs> Um, my suggestion is that you just like walk next to the shops and you can get the blast of the air conditioning, which is really nice. I'm just gonna trade uh, Tropius to this guy who helped me out with a Marowak, Marowak um, battle. He doesn't have anything to give me, but it doesn't matter because it's cool just to be able to help people out. He got really excited when, when I showed him the tropia, so... It's so hot. I said, <laughs> do you want to go to the shade? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a good idea. We'll go underneath the, like, the doors here because it's just way too hot. Now I can see. So... I'm putting it through in our cold. Ah, I did already. Mm. 
Ninja Monkey. Hi, hi. Ninja Monkey. Okay. okay. Now you send me a gift. Okay. 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 I really don't mind what he gives me. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. So 1,000 yen to get to to get in. The tickets really easy to buy. The vending machine has got English instructions. It's really really easy, and um, it's about probably I'd say a 10 minute walk from the station to the entrance of like the the castle complex, and then a nice um, easy stroll to the actual ticket gates. Um, actually, I thought it was going to be a lot more people, but to be to be honest, I think it's quite empty. There's not there are people obviously. But it's not like overly crowded. I guess the heat doesn't help. Um, there's signs everywhere saying like drink water, wear a cap. Probably the fourth bottle of water that I've had from basically from the station to the castle or oh, well, now I, now I'm in the castle and um, I think they're really paranoid about the the whole heat thing water don't forget your water area and you need to take off your shoes which is very common for a lot of um, like museums and castles and that kind of stuff like in um, Matsumoto castle I had to do the same thing um, and lots of other places that I've been to you just take it off and they give you this plastic bag for you to carry your shoes in some temples actually have like um, an area for you like to like put like a, sh a shoe locker where you just basically leave your shoes there and then pick them up on the way out but um, in these sort of um, like places you need you kind of go through a route and end up somewhere completely different so usually you just have to carry them So I'm at the sixth floor, the top floor, and um, loads and loads of steps to get to the very top. The views are really, really nice, spectacular. Quite a lot more people here, but still not overcrowded, I would say. If you have any problems like with your back or are you scared of like of stairs, of really steep stairs, then maybe keep away from going to the top or just take it really, really easy and uh, make your way up slowly. Um, it is definitely worth the trip up and I'm really happy that I've done it. Um, like most other Japanese castles, very similar. I guess once you've seen one, you know what, you, what to expect. Um, there's a lot, there aren't seven stairs up or six stairs up. There's a, I feel as if there are more than like in between floors perhaps. It felt like I, I, I climbed quite a bit and now I need to go down. <laughs> and I'm still walking around with my shoes and my plastic bag. <laughs> So I was doing a, a live stream, check it out on my channel, it's probably going to be up there somewhere. Um, and as I was walking down this hill, the view was really, really nice. So I walked all the way back up the hill with this camera to record some better footage. So yeah. Ah, 
heading back to the station to get the um, Shinkansen back to Kyoto. Uh, it's so much nicer now. It's 4.30 in the shade. It's quite nice. In the sun, it's really hot. So I'm walking down the main road um, to the station, but in the shade. And there's all sorts of like little shops selling like kakigori, like um, shaved ice and food and snacks and that kind of thing. So it's quite nice, yeah. Anyway, don't forget, if you like my video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. My live streams are, I think I'm going to be like in English and in Spanish, mixed bilingual, because that kind of worked quite well when I did it earlier on. So yeah, see you, bye.